Hi, it's Jim McKenzie with the Fatherhood Biz column of the month, and this month is going to find me in a rather more mellow and soft mood than I quite often am when I consider the stories that I read every day. But this is a personal story which I'm I'm saying about, and what well, saying, telling you about my daughter Serafina, who's four, and how she has taught me to be a more patient and less driven in my business, uh, but it's made me better father. This little thing that struck me I thought I'd share with you. So okay so a couple of weeks ago in my office I realized was really it was something of an excerpt from Hoarders. Uh, papers everywhere. There was a small amount of space where I could walk to the desk but that had been occupied with uh, toys and I cleared those up and then I was enjoying the new wide open spaces in my office and in the last couple of days there have been the re-emergence of a Barbie party world that made it very difficult to get to my chair but there were unicorns and elves and tables and princes and princesses and every type of Barbie bit that you can imagine and every day Serafina was coming in saying I want to show you something dad and I was thinking oh, yeah I'll get to that but and hopefully we can get to clearing it up and moving into another part of the house to populate um, but this piece of real estate was something that she really wanted to keep um, so I had no choice in that but it got to the point where I kept trying not to tread on these things which after all cost a lot of money and you know if I break them there's going to be tears so it got to one afternoon when I saw her tiptoeing past the door and I said Serafina it's time you've got to come in you've got to clear this up now and you know two days is long enough she said but dad you know I didn't want to bother you I've had something I want to show you and I was busy that day and I thought yeah okay yes well we'll get to that and then we'll clear up and or you'll clear up why did I say we well she's got these big puppy eyes and Little girls always win. Little boys might challenge you, they do it another way, but little girls, they use subtlety. And uh, even after six children, I still am a sucker. <laughs> uh, but that's part of business. You win and you lose. But you lose more than you win in a positive way because the children are always doing it from a good motive. So she came on my lap, she said, I want to show you something, Dad. I've been waiting for two days. I've got to show you something. So I bent down, looked on the, on the floor, and there was this Prince Barbie at the head of the table doing his best Mitt Romney impersonation, Lord of the Manor. But he looked cool. And she said, that's you, Dad. And I thought, I couldn't afford to be at a party like that. But why is that me? <laughs> she said, no, it's because you're so brave and I love you. And you've got such a good heart. That's you. And then she looked up at me and I thought, OK, well, let's play. I stopped work because I've got this business going 24 hours a day. There's lots of times in the day I don't see you because you're sleeping. OK, let's go and play. But the trouble is, as I got off my chair, this wheel from a Barbie carriage skewered my foot. And she found that really hilarious. And I thought, well, if I'd played with her before, I probably wouldn't have skewered my foot and we would have cleared up. But we had the best time. And the, the point of this is really that the fact is you can't get those moments back. So take them when you get the chance. Because your business will always be there, but your fatherhood business... Sometimes it's just not open for business. So take the moment. And I've learned something about being more patient even when I'm under pressure. So I hope you enjoyed that little snippet from my life. I won't always be this mellow. Uh, I've got a lump in my throat because she is so darn cute. I'm sure your children are too. So take the moment. Enjoy the fatherhood business. And I'll see you next month. Thanks for sharing.